educating your customers sounds strange, right? But there is a point, I promise you, especially as a new solopreneur or small business owner, when starting your new business, you have a lot of energy and a lot of positive vibes around your new business. And that's amazing. But that also makes you probably work a lot more than you're going to do when you've kind of gotten settled in. And that can be an issue because if you're teaching your customers that you are there all the time or that you are giving them discounts all of the time to kind of get them going as a new business, they will keep expecting that from you. And that's not a very good business model, neither for your health or for your business. So think about the long run when you set up your strategy for your business, when you set up your opening hours, when you set up your pricing strategy and your discounting strategy, what would it be that will help you in the long run as well. I am all for the fact that you should be delivering great customer service and that you should be giving some good offers for your customers. But there might be a great way to do that to be able to make it so that you don't educate your customers to pay you less. That's a bad idea, right? You get the point. In the long run, like I said, discounts are no good. I follow a company that I bought something from at one point and almost on a weekly basis, I get these emails saying, oh, there's this discount. It's never been cheaper. You're so lucky you're on this list because, and you know what? I'm never gonna buy something from them at full price because I know that within a week or two, there's gonna be another discount. So for me, that's the bad business strategy, right? Because then you're never gonna have your customers pay what you actually want for the product. And the other thing is I'm going to start wondering, hmm, what's the actual value of that product? Is it actually what they say the price is or is it actually lower because they keep discounting it? So discounting, think about when you do it, do it strategically. So maybe for Black Friday or Christmas or like some bigger events or to your very loyal customers say that, oh, I see that you've bought something for me three times. Here's a discount for being a loyal customer. And that's a whole different story about doing things for new customers versus loyal customers. I'll do that another time in the video. Response time. So how you respond to your customer's requests. A lot of us are using WhatsApp and Messenger and all of these instant messenger tools, Instagram nowadays. Oh God, it sounds so old saying nowadays. <laughs> but the point is there's access to you 24 seven more or less. I hope not because you should be sleeping at least eight hours of those. <laughs> if you wanna know more about that, I'll link a video about sleep and stuff in the description. But your response time, teach your customers that you have a response time of maybe 24 hours or that you have three days on email or whatever it is, set an expectation that will help you help them better. Because if you have an auto reply that says, I will answer you within 24 hours and then you get back to them within five hours, then you have given them great service. So that's a plus for you. Instead of teaching them that you will answer at any hour and within five minutes, because then the day you don't do that, they're going to be mad or maybe just annoyed at you. So it's better to set the expectation early on. You will get to a point where you have so much to do in your business that you won't be able to answer that quickly. So when you educate your customers, you also educate them about the quality of your work. One is regarding the response time. Quality takes time. The fact that you actually are a bit slower at responding is because you're making a better quality product for them is really important and you're over delivering. It takes time. You're not giving discounts all of the time because it's a quality product you have. And then the last thing is the service. So great service is something you also educate your customers to expect. This, however, is a good thing it's because if you give quality service, they will come back again and again and again and again, and they will be okay with waiting. They will be okay with paying full price. They will be okay with the business model you chose for your business. That's it for today. Remember, have fun and get shit done.